beer review. Heist Almighty, Sith, The Fuzz. We're going to take a look at a beer that was sent to us by Brew By Me. Thank you, Dale. We're going to take a look at Nacho Libre. Is it Mexican? The Mexican Irish. Potato Libre. Potato Libre. We're going to take a look at Sassron Patrick. What are Irish you talking? Radio. I don't what? know. That is like the most obscure accent. <laughs> like, that's, just, that's not. Kind of that's not like, Irish. That's not Mexican. I don't know what it is. So leave me alone. <laughs> it's not even Canadian. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. Simmer. Simmer. Happy place. I am a happy place. <laughs> My house. Not for long. You're about to get more beer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Yeah. The neighbors are gonna get pissed. Um. Oh, we'll Harris. All right. So this beer. is number eighteen in their Wild Oats series. Uh, it actually is. It's an Irish red ale, made really strong. It's got a one one eighth barrel aged brand, blend oat aged in wheat whiskey barrels. And aged on oak. What was it? One eighth barrel aged blend of wheat whiskey and aged on oak. Says. So I'm a little confused. So it says Strong Patrick is our interpretation of an Irish red ale. Ale is lightly hopped, well rounded and balanced with a pleasant toasted malt character. Lightly hopped. That's good. Part, mm, uh, it might not be as poison this time. Part of the batch has been aged in wheat whiskey barrels. Okay, that answers that. And reintroduced, adding subtle wood and vanilla nuances. Ooh, vanilla. Buzz likes the vanilla there. Uh, Strong Patrick is a luscious red heared ale with a multi backbone, showing showcasing toasty and toffee notes, complemented by some warming alcohol and whiskey flavors. Right on. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Where's the Kool Aid Man? <laughs> Strong Patrick there does kind of look a little Kool-Aid bit like a green version of the Kool Aid Man. Jail for destruction of property. Oh so, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that looks nice. That's, it looks nice. I'm just not getting a lot of head off of it. Maybe you'd have better luck. Sorry, oh, that's, that's 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 a What if? Yeah, a little bit Maybe more. A bit more there. Picked up a bit more on that one. Again, it's got almost the same color as that uh, the one we just did. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a little. Root. It's a little redder. Yeah. It's just redder is a word. I've seen redder red ales, but it's a strong red red, red ale. Strong oh, Patrick. It's a Mexican red ale. That said, I love the label on it, though, so don't be too offended. It is pretty cloudy. All right, and you get the drinks again. I get the <laughs> Oh, you can actually see it going through there. <laughs> yeah, definitely not filtered, but you know what? I kind of like the look of it. Yep. Um, I can live with that. It's kind of a brownish amber it's red. It's almost creamy. Not a big head on that. Mm. It looks almost creamy, to be honest. Yeah, it looks that, nice. That looks nice. That's uh, got some potential. You keep in mind this is a this is a St. Patrick's Day special we're drinking in in October, so yeah, I mean it's a few months old, but it still looks really nice. It doesn't smell like poison. No, that's a good stand. Very malty, kind of fruity. Yeah, mm. it's a little apple. Very apple-y. fruity. A little yeah. apple-y almost. I, I'd like almost fresh apples. I'd, I'd almost lean towards like a nice apple side. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's with a hint of caramel. Big multi presence in this one, though. The malt's gonna be the story. already down the hash, so why don't we join? <laughs> Alright. It's just a small sip. Oh, yeah. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! This is almost skewing. That's a really nice uh, rail. What this, is it? This is almost skewing into like dark Belgian or, or uh, Scotch ale territory. Mm. But not quite. It's close. Not though. quite. It's not quite strong enough for the Scotch, but I dark Belgian is kind of getting close there. It's got that little bit of light, fruity. Almost got like a hit of a yeasty bitterness to it, that yeasty tang. Yeah. It, the bitterness really hits once you put your beer down mm. and just like stay away from it for a little bit. You'll get that little bitterness in the back of your But it's tongue. a nice bitter. Yeah, it's not a bad one. No, no it's not a It's mild bitterness. It's a little earthy, but it's blended quite well. It almost kind of comes out at the same time as some nice caramel malt. Yeah, the vanilla the vanilla whiskey kind of character mm. is definitely coming through there through the middle of my tongue. Yeah. I really like this. That's good. I like that. Nice creamy body on it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to get that. It almost feels like there's a hint of alcohol burn, this alcohol screen as you can see from the whiskey part of it. Yeah. It's like that aftermath of taking like a, a shot of whiskey. Maybe not quite that potent. Yes. Would you, would you like to say something? See. I I again. I'm a little bit different because I don't really drink a lot of beer. I don't really, I don't 
really taste that much alcohol or get that much of an alcohol flavor out of it. Mr. Egg, you show four <laughs> shots of rum and one good rum in here. It's not really that strong of an alcohol flavor, even compared to some no, other beers it's, I've had. It's very, what I'm saying is it's just like it's very mild. It's not like a burn or anything. <clears throat> I gotta say that almost everything I've had come out of Belgium had more booze in it than this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's only like what, six, yeah, six point seven. So I mean, that's strong for an Irish red, but it's not like super strong. I will give it to you. This, this though, definitely a very tasty Irish red. Yeah. Yep. I, 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 find, I find Irish reds can sometimes be kind of thin or, or watery or not. Very flavorful, but this is this has got it all. This had this filled it in nicely with a hint of barrel aging, and I gotta say, I really like it. That's a delicious red. Yeah, the Bosnet barrel aged blends <coughs> are really kind of coming together for me. So, do we want to sit with this for a bit, or do we want to we want to call finish it? it? Yeah, we can call it. Call Wait, it. What do you think, Pussy? Um, I'm gonna give it a strong three, if not a three point five. Nice. Ooh, so three point two five. Yeah, if you strong if you, three. Yeah, yeah. All right. Strong. What do you think, uh, Ice? <coughs> <coughs> oh, I want to say four, but I can't quite get there. 3.9. 3.9. 3.9. I'm going to give it a 4. I really like the taste of this, but it's... I, I don't know. I still like pepperines better, I think. No, that's like your opinion, man. Well, yeah. Anyway, what do you think, Seth? I, I'm going to... I'll... I'll go 3, uh, three five. 3, 5? Cool. All right, so that's pretty... It's uh, definitely thumbs up from everyone. 3, 5, 3, 9, 4, and 3. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. If you do quarters, three I can do three and a quarter. Well, I can do three and a quarter. Oh, then I'll do three and a quarter. We'll do yeah. three and a quarter. All right. We, we can do fractions oh. for irrational numbers if you prefer. Irrational. Like pi. Do it pi. <laughs> ne negative I. <laughs> negative I. The imaginary the root number. Root of negative I. Uh, All right. All right. <laughs> the root of I. Root of I. All right. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.